From there now to NBC's Ali Rafa, who's at the White House with President Biden's reaction to McCarthy's speaker win. Ali, what are we hearing from the president today after that long, contentious battle in the House? Yeah, Alex, well, President Biden left for a quick overnight trip to his home in Delaware a few hours before the House reconvened for that final round of votes late last night. But he, like the rest of us, was watching and waiting as this drama unfolded on the House floor last night. Uh, shortly after McCarthy won the speakership, he released a statement congratulating McCarthy, saying he's ready to work with him over the next two years. Uh, in this statement, he says in part, in part, quote, as I said, after the midterms, I'm prepared to work with Republicans when I can, and voters made clear that they expect Republicans to be prepared to work with me as well. President Biden in this statement highlighting his own trip uh, this week to Kentucky with Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, where both of them touted the bipartisan infrastructure law and just the importance of working across the aisle uh, to get things done. President Biden saying that now that the House has a speaker, the real work uh, can start. But Alex, you and I both know how difficult that's going to be after House Republicans have pledged to use the next two years uh, to really try to stall President Biden's agenda to launch investigations into the president himself, his family. Uh, one thing that President Biden is making good on is something that uh, House Republicans as well as Senate Republicans have slammed him on for really months and years now, really uh, calling for him to go to the U.S.-Mexico border to see the crisis there himself. Now we have learned that President Biden will head to El Paso, Texas uh, tomorrow to see that uh, firsthand. He'll meet with Border Patrol agents uh, and possibly even asylum seekers themselves while in El Paso tomorrow. After that, he heads to Mexico City for the uh, National uh, Leaders Summit, where he will speak with the Mexican president. Undoubtedly, this immigration crisis crisis likely to be brought up, especially as the U.S. more heavily uh, relies on Mexico to provide protections to migrants that will now be pushed back across the border to Mexico, especially in light of these new immigration policies that President Biden announced this week, Alex. Yeah, that is definitely going to be the focus for the few days ahead of us, for sure. Thank you so much for that, Ali Rafa.